again to another What's Up Wednesday. I think we're up to week five. How exciting is that? Thanks so much for everyone who, who's been watching these videos and thank you so much for all your support. This week I'm going to be talking all about embossing. So we're going to be doing um, some heat embossing. We're going to do some embossing with our folders and using the Stampin' Emboss machine. And then we're going to do some embossing paste, which I love to use. So stay with me and uh, let's get onto the desk and get started. Okay, let's talk embossing. Doesn't matter how many times I heat emboss an image, after years and years of doing it, I still get a thrill. Yes, I know doesn't take much to make me happy but I'm going to show you a little bit about heat embossing today then we're going to touch on another two other types of embossing so let's get started first with the heat embossing so I'm just going to take a piece of cardstock I'm going to take my favorite stamp of all time um, from the cottage rose stamp set I've um, put it on my acrylic block and I'm going to versa mark so Versamark is a sticky ink. It's a uh, um, uh, it's not a dye ink, but it's a clear sticky ink. So it takes a while to dry. So you've got time to apply your heat embossing powder. So I'm simply going to put this on a piece of cardstock. But before I do, I'm going to take my embossing buddy. Now this is an anti-static little pouch. Um, I'm not sure what they have in it but I know that you can make your own with um, baking powder I think um, or corn flour. Stampin' Up um, do have it or did have it. I don't think it's available anymore but I'm sure it will come back on very soon. So now I've, that anti-static powder or that embossing buddy that I've just rubbed across that that's taking away any little grease marks where I've touched it. So hopefully there'll be no other grease marks on that and that the embossing powder won't stick to areas where it's not supposed to stick. So I'm just going to stamp this, turn it around and do it that way. Just a good amount of pressure. Now that milk may be difficult to see because it's clear on white. Um, but I can see it so I'm going to take my tray and my brush and I'm going to use gold so what I do when I get my little bottles of um, embossing powder I empty them into a little plastic container and these little spoons I actually got when I was on a flight somewhere um, and so I keep an eye out for any little spoons takeaway shops or anything like that They'll be hard to come by now because we're doing away with plastics, but these are ideal for, for what I need it. So um, I'm just going to sprinkle a generous amount on that. Okay, so now because we've done with our embossing buddy, this powder should only stick where I've stamped. Okay, I do see I have got a couple of little specks there, so I just use my brush to brush them away. All right, now I'm just going to put that aside while I empty this back into my, my tray and I'm, I'm going to get all my little, all the powder back into the container and I use my brush just to sweep it off because when I come to use this again, I may be using white. I don't want gold bits of white, although that would look really nice. No, I don't want black bits of white in there. So, um, and don't ask me how I know that, but I know. Um, <laughs> yes, I had black in white embossing powder. Yes, didn't look too good. But I'll tell you what, the gold and white would look really nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah that's an again for another day. All right, so I've just got my tweezers here. Now, these are fantastic tweezers. They've um, got the plastic end so they won't all, um, um, burn or anything. So um, burn your fingers. Is that what I'm trying to say? Burn your fingers? So I'll just um, speed up the video. When, while I'm doing this so you don't have to hear the sound so when I'm doing this I put it I put it on the high now it is a good idea to start and just rub it around the back get a bit of heat on it at first 
you don't have to do this if you're in a hurry. And I find if I just land, wait till it gets the heat in one spot, and then you will see it changing colour. It got, and it's just changing there, and then I start to move it around. Okay. Now I don't know whether you can see that on camera. There we go. It's glossing up nicely. And just move it around until all your bits of gold or whatever colour embossing powder you're using is all glossy. If you find it's not glossy, then it's not heated enough. Okay, and it should just all be done. Didn't take long at all. I didn't even need to speed up the camera or anything because that didn't take long. So you could see that beautiful gold embossing and I just love it and I love to see the magic of embossing. So our embossing uh, powders come in white, black, copper, silver um, and clear. So uh, this is a gold, black, um, I use all the different colours for just for different projects. So the next type of embossing is dry embossing and that's where we use our embossing folders. Now there's a lot of these available through Stamping Up. There's 3D ones which are a thicker uh, folder and you will need a specialty plate for those. But this is one called Let's Celebrate and it's a, it's a lovely little one and it's for the mini. You can use it in your big one as well, your larger one, but I'm just going to show you today what we do, the basics of dry embossing. So I said dry embossing, however, so I'm going to take a bit of black now, I just need to trim that down just a little bit because I think it's only nine centimeters for, wide for the mini and I have that cut for the larger one. So I'm going to take, first of all, the best thing to do, um, now this, this is optional. I find it gives a nice crisper image if I spritz my paper a little bit beforehand. It just loosens up the paper fibers a bit. I'm gonna put it in my folder. Now because um, this is an embossing folder, I'm going to take my plate three and my sandwich will be plate three, my embossing folder, and then place plate one on top, and then run it through. This takes a little bit of muscle, not a lot. And that puts pressure on those plates. And there we have a beautiful embossed um, feel to that, if you can see that in the light. It's really, I love embossing it. I'll, I'll do up a card and I'll show you at the end of the video what I've done with this. Um, but that's how we do our dry embossing. So don't overlook your embossing folders in the catalogue. Um, there's some beautiful ones around. They're great for backgrounds. So, um, and there's lots of techniques that you can use with them as well. So that's our dry embossing. Okay, so the third and final type of embossing I'm going to show you is one of my favourites. And it's using our embossing paste which I just love. I honestly really do love this technique. I'm also using one of our decorative masks. Now there's a few of these available. I would encourage anyone to get any of these. They are fantastic for doing um, even just um, brushing on inks onto your background. But I'm going to use it today to show you how to do um, some embossing. So I've got a bit of cardstock. Now this one's measuring 10 by 14.3 because that's going to be my card front. I'm not going to um, mount it all at anything because this particular um, technique doesn't need anything in the background. Now I will just put a bit of my, uh, I've got a bit of used grid paper here I'm going to put underneath just to protect my workbench. Um, then I have some peel and stick which I'm going to use and just to um, stick that down. You can use masking tape, washi tape, whatever you want. Um, this is just some peel and stick that I have. And I'm just going to probably a bit of overkill here, but um, I don't want a lot. Okay. 
So then I'm going to get the trusty silicon mat. Everyone has to have one of these in your craft stash. You have to have a silicon mat. They are awesome. So this is just our plain white. Now it's pasty. Mine's nearly empty because you can see I use it a lot. I'm going to take about, oh, it, look, it's not even a teaspoon. I would say half a mm, teaspoon maybe. Um, and I'm, I'm doing mine in three lots. I want three different colours. So I'm taking probably not even a teaspoon. And one colour is going to be a little bit more than another. Um, because um, what I've got in mind, if it works out, um, one colour will be more dominant than the others. Now, one thing you must do too, when you're using embossing paste, make sure, sorry, I just got a baby wipe then, I just wanted to wipe my spatula. It will dry, so you've got to work fairly quickly. Now, I want purple to be my, my main colour, so this is gorgeous grape and just one drop of that. Then I've got Bermuda Bay, one drop. And then I've also got Granny Apple Green. Uh, okay, so we want to work fairly quickly. You can do it one colour at a time, but I find you can manage to do it um, the three colours. And I'm just getting a bit of sun coming in my window. It's been cloudy every day. And now the sun's coming in, so it's casting a shadow. I do apologise. But it's nice to have the sun shining in on your craft, isn't it? So, all right, I'm just going to quickly wipe that before I blend the next colour. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. So this reminds me of cake decorating that I used to do many years ago. You can't eat it, though. Don't eat it. It's um, But just mixing it reminds me of the texture of icing. Okay, so before we mix the next colour, which is Granny Apple Green, beautiful, nice, bright green colour, this. So I'm just going to, you will get little lumps in it just like icing, just make sure you mix it all up and blend it all out. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to start with my green seeing that's what I, I've got on my palette knife. And these are palette knives are available from Stamping Up in a pack of three. Highly recommend them um, for using your, your embossing pastes. I'll probably get a few card fronts out of this amount of paste. So purple was going to be my dominant colour. So um, now you'll see, I don't know whether you can see that, but I just had a bit of white paste. It wasn't mixed in properly, but it blended in all right. Okay. And I'm just going to randomly put this over my card front and wipe that before I go on to my next colour, which is the, um, what do I say I had? Um, Bermuda Bay. Beautiful. How vivid and bright is that that's just lovely I'm really happy with that so I'm, I'm not doing the hold I'm just doing the whole card front if you want to add a bit of texture just move your your palette knife up and that this one I'm going to do smooth so um, hopefully that won't dry before I finish my video and then I can make some more so let's just reveal this Ta-da! That's really cool. Love that. They're really nice bright colours. So that's embossing paste. I'm going to go ahead and make a card with that, which I will share with you at the end of the video. So I hope you've enjoyed today's um, embossing video. I've certainly had a lot of fun doing it. Lots of messy hands and that too. So uh, I hope you, hope you give it a go and love to see what you do. Um, don't forget to visit my blog site at winningcreations.theseamystamps.com and if you've got any questions, any queries, please don't hesitate to send me a, an email or um, message me on Facebook. Until next week, have a great time.